can think money, right? And you hear cha-ching. We are talking to a tax and legal expert who has seen some pretty weird, or I guess you could call unique, yet totally legal tax deductions throughout his career. Please welcome Mark Kohler. He's here to tell us how to get you the most for your money when you are filing for the IRS this year and next when the new tax law goes into effect. Mark, good morning to you. Thanks for having me. So excited to be here in L.A. Yeah, I, fantastic. Yeah, I'm it's tired after all the Golden Globe after parties. Oh, look yeah, at you, yeah. party party. Well, well, and saving us some money on the yeah. side, right? No one invites me to the, the party. So I'm, I'm at the after audit party. That's oh, okay. what I get invited to. All right, yeah, cool. Well, so I'm right there with you. I didn't go to any parties either. <laughs> um, but, I'm, but I'm really interested in saving some cash. And okay. this first one, this is a, a unique deduction. Uh, we were just talking about during commercial break, 30% of Americans have a dog. And apparently mm -hmm. you can write the puppy off? Well, there's three or four methods. Okay. Um, probably the most common nowadays is a service animal. Uh -huh. um, a lot of doctors are prescribing that people have a pet yeah. for anxiety or depression and if a doctor prescribes that your dog could be a service dog and maybe run around at the airport with you too but it's a write-off okay so i just moved here from texas and i brought my little dog rocky and i was joking to him earlier and i said i need him to make me feel good he's kind of like a therapy dog he makes me smile so i would be able to write him off talk to your doctor see if that is true if your doctor says you know what you need this you're you seem very well balanced, but the stress <laughs> of your job, you might need that little dog for uh, medical reasons. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's talk about clothing and makeup because there are some big changes when it comes to the entertainment world. But, but we'll talk about the clothing and making, makeup being able to be written off. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, for the, in the entertainment industry, we're in the heart of it here in L.A., yeah. a lot of entertainers, there is an entertainer uh, exception. Mm -hmm. So if you are in the entertainment industry, you might be able to write off your hair, your makeup, yeah. nails, uh, and some clothing, and it depends on what type of uh, niche you're in in the entertainment. Mm -hmm. But a good accountant should be looking to that. Uh, so, do you think with a new tax law, you have to be, I guess, a little extra creative? Like, for example, if you use, you know, your jet ski and you're a real estate agent, ooh. you take them, you, you know, you take some clients out there and you show them around the water and the new property. Could you write that off? Well, you used to be able to. Rita, this is the big hidden issue in the new yeah. tax reform bill: is that the entertainment expense is no longer a write-off. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to uh, go to the spa, go to the golf course, yeah. maybe take a client to the theater, or a sh you can't write that off anymore. You can write off the dining, so we can go to dinner, but I can't write off those expenses as a small business owner. What are some of the things that you can write off? Well, now with this new rule, when you're trying to network, and a lot of business owners once a week go out with someone and talk business, yeah. you can write off the meal, but you can't write off the experience. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at the converse of this. What does this do to the entertainment industry? Is this going to have an impact in, yeah. at Top Golf and, the, and uh, at the golf courses and also the skyboxes? Right. Verizon can't write off the skybox anymore. You know, that's what it looks like. The and oftentimes companies rent these out, they take all their employees. Yeah. So and is that something different? Yeah, it's no longer a write-off now in oh 2018. But I think, and I think it's sad because going mm -hmm. out and entertaining and talking with your client or a referral partner is a good way of doing business. Yeah. Well, now you're going to just go out to eat. Uh, I don't know if you'll have an experience with that. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is incredible. So here's the other question that I have. So I recently went on vacation with my family, um, and as many people have recently mm -hmm. gone on their vacations or gone to their families, you know, if they start talking business, money, things that pertain to their small company, can they write the whole trip off? Possibly. And here is the number one tax write-off for Americans. Yeah. Number one, Rita, you got to do this. Uh -huh. is have a small business on the side. Doesn't mean you quit your day job, but are you selling something on Etsy? Are you yeah. selling something on eBay? Do you have a small business idea, even a rental property? What about a blogger? Uh, a blogger that generates revenue. You know, you gotta have a site that's actually generating revenue. But the beauty is then when you travel with your family, your kids are on your board of directors, yeah. you have a small business purpose, wow. buy rentals where you travel. Good Take your know. kids to go work on the rental. Good to know, time to get extra creative, Mark. Thank you, we're out of time. You hear that music? We gotta I'm say loving it. bye bye. Thanks for having me. All right, Megan. I'm not dancing. No, <laughs> no. I can't I do Lance. Lance Lance oh. Yeah, Lance, Lance is a dancer. <laughs> Put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> yeah. Make it rain dance. over there. All you gotta do is go bye bye. I'll bye. give you a little bye, lesson. Bye bye bye. You've seen there it is. Yeah. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs>